Hey guys, welcome back to Katie's Animals. I know that I have been super MIA on my channel, but I am going to change that. We no longer have little rat girls, so my rat content will not be there. I will make a playlist for all of my old rat videos if that is something you guys are interested in. Um, I'm gonna just compile them all together for you. Um, I'm not gonna go into details about everything that happened and has went on. It's been about a year since I've posted on this channel. So right now, um, this channel is going to be redirected towards my little guinea pigs. Um, I have two female guinea pigs. They are 10 weeks old. Pumpkin is an obsidian. Um, she's got like the cute little calyx everywhere. And then Apple is a long haired like, she Sheba or something. Um, they, I did buy them from a pet store. Uh, I actually want to say rescued them from a pet store because how we came about to get these little girls was not planned at all. So here's the little story of how this happened. We got done eating and we were gonna go get coffee, but I had weight loss surgery in November of 2020, so I can't like drink right after I eat. So we went to the pet store to just kill some time, let my food settle, walk around. Um, I like to take my kids in there just to look at the animals just because. And um, so we just went to Petco, which like I typically don't go to Petco, but it was just on the way. So we just stopped there and we were looking at the reptiles and then we went over to like the rodents and stuff and we were just looking at everything. And then I see these two guinea pigs and my dream guinea pig is a long-haired guinea pig, although the little obsidian is definitely growing on me. I love her so much. Um, but I see these two little guinea pigs and I was like, oh my gosh, like I really want her. And my husband's like, you know, you would want both. And I'm like, I know. I'm like, but like we didn't come here for guinea pigs. And I'm like looking at the enclosure and I'm like, oh my gosh, they don't have hay. They don't have toys. They literally only had water and pellets. And and one little, little hide. Like it wasn't even like a good size hide. Like only one could fit in it at a time. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And you know, they're kind of expensive at a pet store. And you know, normally I would go rescue, but this was like, I just told my husband, I have to get them. Like, I don't care how much they cost. Like I have to get them. And they didn't have any suitable cages. They didn't really just have very much stuff for guinea pigs there. So I just got like the basics, food, a little thing. I have hay because we have rabbits. Um, and so I have orchard grass hay. So I'm like, we have some hay. I'll just get a little thing of alfalfa hay and we will we'll just be on our way. <laughs> Um, and then my husband's like, what are you going to keep them in? So we did a temporary bin cage, literally for, it takes two days for Amazon packages to come to my house. So I ordered the Midwest cage as we were in the car driving home with them. Um, and so it wasn't going to be that long before that. So I was like, I'll just make a temporary bin cage for them. We'll just leave the lid off. Um, I had my husband drill a bunch of holes in it and they were in there for two days. Um, and it was bigger than the enclosure that they had in the pet store. So I'm like, you know what? They're already slowly getting upgraded. They're gonna be good. I just put some fleece and puppy pads down at the bottom of it. And I did buy them a big hide in the pet store. They did have like a really nice size little one, or it wasn't little, but it wasn't as big as I would like either. But it was good enough for both of them to be able to go hide in. And I did get, um, like just a couple of the little toys that they had available. And I'm like, you know what, this is gonna work for now. And I just ordered a bunch of stuff and then two days later it all came. And so now they're in a Midwest setup. They are very happy, very content. Um, they are warming up so good. We've had them for two weeks now. Um, Apple, I was a little nervous about because she just was not, she was just staying on the kitchen side of her cage and was not wanting to explore. She's very frightened and so we just kind of left her alone. We do not hold them very often. I do, I do like check them over just to make sure that they're good because guinea pigs, especially from a pet store, they can just get illnesses really quickly and they tend to hide them pretty well. So I just do little once overs on them, check to their nails, check their, um, 
little private areas to make sure that there's no abscess, impacts, anything like that. And so they were good to go. Um, we have not bathed them or anything yet. I do, however, want to give them a bath once they are more comfortable being handled, um, just to make sure that they don't have like mites or anything like that. From what I can tell, they don't. They're not itchy, bitey, anything like that. So um, I think just one initial bath is what we're gonna do, but I'm still kind of watching them because illnesses can really pop up at any time and I just wanna make sure that they don't have a cold or anything when they do get a bath. Um, they are, <laughs> They're so sweet. Pumpkin is full of personality. She runs around, she jumps everywhere. She's just, will come up to your hand. She loves to eat treats from your hand. Yes, honey? Mm -mm. Your hand, yeah. Let me see it. Mm. There. I... Yeah, <laughs> he's so cute. Um, yeah, so they're just really amazing and I'm so excited to share our little guinea pig journey with you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you their cage right now. It is dirty. Um, they didn't get spot cleaned yesterday because I was, um, I had to take my son five hours away to an appointment um, at a children's hospital. So I didn't get home until really, really late because I spent 10 hours in the car and two hours at the appointment. So what? What are you doing? Um, if you guys don't know, I have four sons, and I am currently pregnant with a little girl, um, and this is our last little baby. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot on my plate, but our little guinea girls are a warmed, welcome thing, and my kids love them. They do not get to just handle them, just so you guys know. They are the guinea girls, that's what we call them, the guinea girls, are in my room on top of a table, um, away from the husky away from just everything it's more quiet in my room and they the uh, older boys are only allowed to go in there with me and um pet them and stuff and occasionally i will put a little lap thing down and they can sit and have one on their lap and um but it typically is just one kid at a time not a bunch nobody's just grabbing them um but they are adjusting, the girls are adjusting really well. They love to eat, being hand fed and stuff. So they're they're bonding with us, with me mainly. Um, and so far I really like how the cage is working out. Um, I definitely am gonna be doing guinea pig hauls for you guys because I'm actually about to do another order for some stuff um, because it's just, it's addicting. Anybody who has guinea pigs knows that. But so far, they have lots of stuff, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. Okay, so this is their little cage area in my bedroom. I'm gonna get little name tags and stuff for them right over here. But this is their like little corner. <laughs> it's really messy at this moment. That's hay. That's just a little trash can for spot cleaning. That holds some of their stuff, their food. Um, that is alfalfa hay because they're still babies, so I just mix it in with their orchard grass hay. Um, I use orchard grass because Timothy hay, I kind of have like a little bit of allergic reaction to it. So we use orchard grass and I just get it from my local um, co-op, like farming place. There's their dirty dishes. They have not um, got their pellets yet today, so they're dirty. They have one big giant water bottle that they share. Um, I need to fill it up. Under here is, you'll see lots of poop because that's where they like to lay. So you see potty pads right there. They do not chew on those. That is underneath because this is where the most wetness happens. And I just roll this up every about two days and completely swap that out. Um, and then it saves me from having to change everything multiple times. And then I just do a spot clean um, every day. And then I also just touch it to make sure it's not like wet. It's completely dry. Um, this is the side that gets the most wet. So every three days I'm doing their kitchen um, and two to three days and swapping this out. And then I swap these little pads out because if you see, they get pretty gross. So yeah, we swap those out so that way they have clean. Uh, apple was under there a ton, but now, now the little babes is right there. He's happy. 
And I believe, is Pumpkin in there with you? Pumpkin, yeah, she's back there. Um, so they have this little thing. At first they didn't like it and because I had like a pad in there, but as soon as I took the pad out, they were all for it. Um, they shredded one of their little balls. Hi, baby. See, she's starting to come around. She's a sweet girl. These little pieces are from their little willow ball. They managed to destroy it, but they have this little hay tunnel. Um, I believe it's alfalfa too, so if they chew it, that's good. They have this little hide and this little chew. I had to lower it. Oh, this little chew, I had to lower it. This is like loofah chews that had sticks in them, but they ripped them apart. Oh, there's one of their little balls. <laughs> Um, and then they have this little fleece forest. I was going to put that over here for Apple to like have, because this is the side she hung out in the most. But um, now that she's not, I went ahead and just put it over here. And I love it because they run in here and I can see them and love on them through here and they feel totally like safe and secure. So that's really nice. I have another chew right here, but they have Lots of little chews and stuff. They have them hidden. Lots of poops. That's like one day. So I didn't spot clean yesterday. So I did it Wednesday night and then Thursday yesterday I didn't because we were out of town um, until really really late. And so today's Friday. So when I so they're a little little more messy today. Isn't she just the cutest? Can we see? Where's your sister? There she is. <laughs> they're so cute guys but yeah this is their cage as of right now um, I do swap out stuff fairly often um, these are they fit perfect in the Midwest so um, these are the puppy the reusable puppy pads I only have two right now I'm gonna order another set because I actually I wasn't sure how I was gonna like them um, and I was just gonna put this under the fleece but Honestly, I don't really need fleece. I am going to do, I'm going to make a fleece pad to just go over this section. Um, so that way it's like more cozy and cuddly for them. But as far as over here, I'm going to just leave the fleece out and just keep what we're doing because they are not eating these uh, puppy pads at all. Like they're, they're not even bothered by them. And that's the only one that shows the other ones are underneath and then these are rewashable ones so yeah I have this rewashable um, pad I love it I just wash it and I set it outside to dry it's got like stuff on it you have guinea pigs you know um, I have a couple of these I have two in there right now I think I only have three or four total um, I actually think I have some outside drying um, but I have these for their little cuddles and they're pretty good size. I got these on Amazon. I'm going to actually order more because I do really like them and they really like them and they're really cuddly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get more of those and then we just have some of these and then this is that little pad that I took out. Um, I am going to put the, like, put this under that ramp sometimes and then this is just when I wash that bumblebee one they have this little this little sack that they can snuggle in so i try to keep one like really cozy um cuddly sleep sack in there and then um the other one more of like a hide so this is where i keep all the puppy pads um i'll restock it soon i like to keep it really nice and full and then this is all of their treats we have a variety because these girls were so picky at first and of course we have this um, and then more little chew sticks and more little treats so we're just trying to figure out what ones they love and then of course some alfalfa oh, alfalfa hay yeah so here's this and i will be doing a cage clean in my next video Let's just say hi to her one more time. Hello, Apple. He's a beautiful girl. And then we have Susie. 
right back there. Hi, pumpkin. Pumpkin's in the back, apple's in the front. So yeah, there's my girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more guinea pig content. I'm super excited to watch um, this channel grow, especially with the guinea pig community. Um, I love watching guinea pig videos. I was watching guinea pig videos before I had guinea pigs. I mean, I've always had guinea pigs, but these girls, um, like Skinny Pigs 101, like the, uh, I think it's Alyssa and Pets, um, um, Amanda Grace, I think. So just lots of different YouTubers that I love. Um, of course, Scotty's Animals, all of those ones, okay? So um, I am super duper just excited to get on this guinea pig YouTube train. Um, so I'd really love it if you guys could like and subscribe and watch me grow as a guinea pig owner. Um, yes, I know that I should probably get a bigger cage for them. Right now, that's what we have, um, and they're doing fine. If they ever show that they need more room, I will definitely be doing a CNC cage um, to make it bigger. Um, if I was to ever get another guinea pig, I definitely would, but for now, that's what, that's like the amount of space that I have, and it is so much more than what they did have previously, and they didn't end up in a little tiny pet store cage, and so the Midwest cage, I feel, is a good fit for right now, and I definitely will be doing a guinea pig haul in probably like one or two videos. I'm actually placing an order today, so I will make sure that I do that little haul on camera for you guys so you can see what the little piggies are getting and all the stuff that we're buying. So please stay tuned for more videos and please like and subscribe. It would really help my channel a lot. Thanks guys. Bye.